since we are in the land of Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee, the first thing to appreciate and to consistently uh, get into the minds of the entire nation is the fact that we have actually rectified a fundamental mistake which was made in 1947 and a mistake for which Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee fought so hard in his own lifetime to rectify. Now, what... So, to me, you know, if you do not do that... See, I've tried to... Uh, I mean, we, you know, all of us know the domestic debates on this. The point I was making is, if you leave open such a vulnerability, in a competing world, others are going to exploit it. And that is exactly the account which I read out to you. And the fact is that uh, by uh, leaving there a Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, we allowed a contiguity to develop between really two uh, adversarial nations. And that is today uh, costing us as well. So now what happens beyond that obviously is not uh, something that anybody can say with great authority uh, and uh, certainly not in public. But I, I do think that even, you know, even in terms of making clear our, I mean, you know, the, you begin first by at least opposing something, you know. I mean, whether you then uh, achieve, you act on it, that comes later. You know, when we took a strong position against the Belt and Road Initiative, against the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, I can tell you there were sections in this country who questioned us, and many of them questioned us publicly. Today they may want to deny, the but the record is there for everybody to see, that who was clear-cut about, you know, what was, what were our rights and what were our interests, and who was once again dodgy as they have been for the last 75 years. What you said, soft power, you know, how do we, how do we deal with it? I was reminded of something with, uh, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu actually said at the Raizina dialogue. I can't give you his exact words, but in effect it was that soft power is no use without hard power. Uh, okay. So, so the bottom line really is that we have to develop that deep strengths. We have to develop those industrial capacities. Uh, we have to develop the technologies uh, in order for us to or two, it's, you know, it's not a question of uh, competing with a neighbor or dealing with a threat. I mean, we need it for ourselves. India will not rise if India does not have the technology, the manufacturing, the economy, the uh, infrastructure for that rise. So it's a self-propelled uh, uh, requirement that uh, we need to have. And that is exactly, you know, if, if you actually are to connect the dots, you know, when Prime Minister speaks of an Atmanirbhar Bharat, when he speaks of an Amrit Kal, when he says that, say that Bharat will be Vixit by 2047, these are all dots that he is connecting in his vision.